Ah, Fukushima fear-mongering. Don't you just love it? Craig here again with another video stabbing at the heart of the Fukushima death cult. They've had it coming for a long time. It's about time we start putting these people out of business. Who are we talking about here? We're talking about these two guys. For one, these two are the most notorious of the liars of the Fukushima death cult. If you've sent money to these people, you've been scammed. Or maybe you sent money to this guy. You've been scammed. Because these people cause real problems in people's lives for believing these lies. Yes, some people have lost their life savings, and even some have lost their lives. So there's more than just a, a YouTube prank going, going wrong. This is some serious business here. For whatever agenda, now in this case of these guys, it's because of money. That's what they're after, money. They know the truth, but they're doing it for their little gig, their little scam they have going. So, about a, two weeks ago, I posted a video trying, I'm challenging everybody in the world, and mainly these two guys. They won't refuse to answer because they can't, and they don't want the attention brought to me, so they'll just ignore me. That's what they, that's what they do. Uh, but I'll debunk them day and night, every day. And these people have, uh, I, I produced a video about two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, showing, that, asking anybody, anybody at all, to show me, show me a death, show me a Fukushima death. Show me increases in cancer. Show me uh, a dead or dying ocean or an extinct species, or this extinction level event they keep talking about. Or, or show me where all this deadly radiation is, because I can't find it. I'll go test it. No takers. Hundreds of comments, no takers. Just all trolls. That's what they do. They just troll. They get mad at somebody bringing them to, to them facts, and they just have to counter with a lot of bullcrap they just throw out. Even racist trolls. Well, then, then about, uh, about five days ago, uh, somebody uh, tried to <laughs> debunk that video. And, and I made a video showing how, fail, how failed that was, uh, that attempt, of course. Uh, this is a really triggered person, this person. If you look at his page here, he actually produced nine more videos about me after I debunked him. Damage control, anybody? Uh, just trying to save face? No, uh, and then there's another guy that I also debunked on that particular video here, and he, uh, <laughs> he's just a fool. He just follows this other guy blindly without checking anything out and just repeats everything this other guy says. And they're both fools. They're both small-time players. They're both wannabes. They love the attention. If you look at the number of views they're getting because of me, they love it. And so, but in the meantime, they're all looking like fools big time, and they won't check anything out. But the, what, the main topic of this video is going to be about, I'm going to be ta tackling on one of the favorite memes because in these pages, about six of these videos is regarding the USS Ronald Reagan. Yes, USS Ronald, well, let me tell you a brief synopsis for those of you who don't know. USS Ronald Reagan is an American aircraft carrier and in March of 2011, when the accident happened, they were sent to the area offshore of Japan to see if they could render some sort of aid for people in Japan. And at some point, they've made some uh, landings, uh, but for the most part... Now, the USS Ronald Reagan is a complement of around 5,000 sailors on board, but the entire flotilla around it, a total of 25 ships, totals 24,000 servicemen. That's how many people were involved in this, okay? So 24,000 people, that's a floating city that, right off the coast of Japan, some say you could see the coast, others, the others say it was long, far away. It doesn't matter. Uh, basically, they're trying to claim what, what happened is, uh, at one point, there was some radiation detected on board the ship. Now, keep in mind, uh, this is a nuclear aircraft carrier with some of the most sensitive and highly sophisticated radiation detection equipment known to man on this earth. So they have good equipment with great logging capabilities and detection capabilities. And they detected radiation, and it was determined probably to have come from Fukushima, which is, could be understandable. Radiation does travel a little bit, it doesn't travel very far, but it could have traveled the distance that they were reported to be at. So they had some radiation, and then they basically backed out of the area a bit. And, but in the process, in the meantime, there were a, a bunch of sailors that went on landing missions to try to render aid as well, and 17 of them were contaminated that they registered some sort of contamination, which was easily washed off, basically, beta particles, and that they, they were cleared after they were basically uh, decontaminated, washed down, basically just taking a shower, this kind of thing, and scrubbing down. 
And uh, so 17 crew members were found to have radioactive particles on them, cleaned off. Uh, now, in and, and a nutshell, then later, years later, three years later, 51 sailors filed a lawsuit. Now, the lawsuit, they can't sue the Navy. It's just, just a thing. So you have to sue somebody else. So they sued TEPCO, the Tokyo Electric Power Company. That's who they sued. And the federal courts have so far allowed it. This has been going on for many years, this lawsuit. And supposedly there's more people that may have joined. It's, it's kind of sketchy to find real information because this is a, an ongoing case. And so we don't have all the details. It's kind of hard to gather. All, a lot of it's bits and pieces here and there, and some of it might not be true. So I, I don't have all the extreme details of it. But essentially, what we have here is, for lack of a better word, ambulance chasers. Yeah, uh, lawyers, uh, trolls of the court, who decide to get these people into a, a, a class action lawsuit against the power company to try to get some money. Here's some of the stories that are being reported. This one here is the one that everybody wants to, to cite. U.S. sailors face grim diagnosis after Fukushima mission. And if you read, I'll have this link below. And if you read this article, what you're going to find is they're blaming things like a hernia, multiple sclerosis, back problems, eyesight loss, Losing mobility, PS, uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, losing uh, loss of, of use of arms and legs, uh, and birth defects, and some cancers. But most all of those aren't even related to radiation. So they're taking, just like the fear mongers do, taking everything and anything under the sun, whether it be, because we've seen this all over the years, we've seen fish with sores, we've seen uh, dead trees blaming on Fukushima, We've seen uh, washed up uh, whales, or we've seen even people blame everything. Might as well blame, blame it on a hangnail and a bad hair day. That's what they do, because you look at these pictures and find out they're actually, a lot of them are made, especially of the fish, were made long before Fukushima even happened. It just throws their, their nonsense right out of the window. But this article actually cites those things as being attributed to Fukushima. They're alluding to it, and the sailors are alluding to it. This, this lawsuit will absolutely fail, in my opinion, it will absolutely fail, unless for some reason TEPCO decides just to give up and, and cut their losses, because they're spending millions and millions of dollars on this lawsuit to defend themselves, when these sailors have no basis in fact. Here's why. If you look at the report, the report, this is the report that the government's going to use, that's, that the government has uh, detailing that whole incident. It's 197 pages, at least on the computer. And this report details how much radiation they were exposed to, how far they were away, how long they were exposed, uh, and all the details about decontamination. It's all there. The facts are all there. Now, you can deny those facts you want, but in court, that's what's going to be used. That report is what's going to be used in their defense or in their attempt to prosecute uh, to get money out of TEPCO. That's it. That's, it. that's what's going to be used. It'll be, everything else will be hearsay. In a court of law, they're going to want some facts. Did you have dosimeter readings for what you were wearing? Were you wearing a dosimeter? Were you wearing a film badge? Remember, this is a nuclear air, aircraft carrier. An entire fleet. Now, to dismiss all the rest of the ships that were there, 25 ships total. No, all these 24,000 uh, uh, servicemen were in that area, and they all got exposed. Some of the ships even more than the Ronald Reagan, such as the George Washington. Okay? So there's... There's a lot of people got exposed. Don't just quit, quit citing the, the USS Ronald Reagan. Cite them all. 24,000 people. So of those 24,000 people, 51 sued. There may have been others added to the suit. Uh, I've seen a total number of up to 420 suing. In fact, this article that, I, I, that they're citing here, 420 are suing. Uh, and they're, they're also claiming, in this article, if you read the article, they're claiming of those 420, this is the assertions of this article, 23 uh, are with cancers. What? 23 with cancers? What are all the other ones? How do you tribute your back problem or your hernia on Fukushima? <laughs> and they also say that eight have died. That's what they claim is. See, this is why they try to use this article to show that people have died. Well, eight have died, but it also says most from cancer. Ah, uh, hello? Most from cancer? What did the others die of? Did they die of a car crash? What? What is this? 
Tulsa to Jess, here's why this is all going to be easily debunked. And, and all, all, they all say two with birth defects. Two with birth defects. Here we go. Cut to the chase. This is, easy, this is one of the easiest things to debunk. It's harder for me to debunk, especially when I'm in somebody else's channel on some other thread where I can't post links. But here I can, and here's where we're going to show you uh, how this is all, the whole thing is stupid with the USS Ronald Reagan. First of all, they, can't, they won't be able to prove that their cancers were related to radiation or Fukushima. Uh, of the more legitimate reports I've seen, suggest that there are three people that have cases that could possibly be attributed to radiation, two of which are thyroid uh, cancers, and one of which is, I have to read it here, non-chronic lymphatic leukemia. Those are the only three, in a more legitimate report, that I've seen that could possibly be related to radiation at all. But the levels of radiation were so minuscule, if you look at the figures, you'll realize that you get more radiation in your day-to-day -day life on certain things you pass by and don't even know it. Are you suing TEPCO for that? No. The radiation levels were so low that no one is going to have any effects whatsoever. And of the three cases that possibly might be, it's extremely like, unlikely and they're not going to be able to prove that in court. That's the bottom line. So to, to debunk this even easier, here's what you do. Of the age group, I've, I've, I've investigated this thoroughly. What you're going to find is, of the age group the military is, of the average of the age group is, which is basically 29 years old. We have a little bit younger crowd than the general population, right? 29 years old. Now, people that are 29 years old get cancer a lot less than people that's, that's in their 60s or 70s. But they still get cancer. Even infants get cancers, all right? And if you look at the numbers, you're going to find that we would expect to see at least 14 to 15 new cases of cancer every single year from those 24,000 servicemen that were expo supposedly exposed to Fukushima radiation. Every year. Now multiply that by the number of years. And the claim of 23 in the Fear Porn article, 23 of them come down with cancers, is actually an extremely low number. Because we would expect to see more than that in the general population that wasn't exposed to, to, to Fukushima. We'd expect to see more than that, a lot more, especially over a number of years. And as far as the birth defects, uh, two birth defects you show? Uh, did you know that one in 33 births, live births in the United States, uh, are, have a birth defect? And so, but no, you're going to blame that on Fukushima? So two birth defects out of what should be more than a dozen every year? But no, you want to blame it on Fukushima. You see, they have no basis for what they say. They're all scamming you when they tell you that hundreds have died from Fukushima. Because it's just not true. No one has died from Fukushima. And you are so thoroughly full of crap that now you're going to have to do more damage control and try to show me how I'm wrong. The links, you, the links are below, and you can comment below, but you'll notice that all the people that comment have no basis whatsoever to, to make any, any facts behind what they say. They'll just want to scream and lash out and absolutely no substance to what they say. Isn't that amazing? That's what they do. Because I, my comment section has always been open, even for links. And I'll just, I'll tear, tear you a new one when, they, when I show you how you're wrong, and then you'll delete your comment, or you'll delete me from your channel, like others have done. That's what you do. So, keep up the good fight. You know what, Paul and the others, uh, your, your, your hero is going to be awfully pissed at you for bringing this to everybody's attention because you helped spur this on. And Kevin and Dana, these clowns are, are going to help destroy your business because I'll debunk them day and night. Every single time. It's easy. I have facts. They don't. So bring it on. I have to bring down the two big guys. You guys are, are meaningless, you two little guys. And there's hundreds of others, actually that do the same kind of crap, which I also attack on a, on a regular basis on my channel and on their channels as well. So, don't believe the lies. Quit sending these two clowns money because they're scamming you. They have a purpose, an agenda, and a money issue. So, um, all those facts and figures you saw are going to be linked here uh, at the end. 
And because uh, I did another video, which you can only see this way by clicking on this link or clicking below of where I came up with those numbers. If you want to try to contest them, you're welcome to it. I just didn't want to turn this video into a half an hour video by including those facts and figures, statistics, which are going to make a lot of people fall asleep. So check out this link and you'll be able to find out uh, the details of where I got those numbers from. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Well, that's great. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man! That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do?